Oh, I guess this is not Emily's. This is the set. Okay, this is definitely the set. Okay, Dreamland is the starter, which um, is interesting. I think um, a lot of the foxes, you know, the classic is just like, hey, you want to start Battlefield? But usually Sheik's the other stages that you want to you know, kind of pick to or start to is, you know, Dreamland or Yoshi's. And I think the different styles compared to, you know, where you go to um, is, is interesting. You know, platforms in neutral are a lot better on Yoshi's, but on this stage, you have a lot more room, you know, you have to play around and dance around the fox and get those juicy grabs. And of course, more room to RTC to live a bit longer. So, you know, you got your trade-offs. Of course, Fox, the evil demon that he can be, also you know, can be living pretty long, but seven, I can not stop quickly. I'll leave him here. Nice needle grab. Yeah, the reactions have been kind of off. It's, uh, it's rough here. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, I like that mix-up, but it was just not, did not get there. Here. You. Okay, it does find a grab. All right. So, Cam did decide to show up and play his match. <laughs> After a bit of a 15 minute delay, sorry about that stream. I'm sure Speedy right. saw the way you apologized. Uh, we're, we're getting into it. So we're, getting, we're, we're, we're here, we're, we're here. here. We're here, that's, that's what matters. That is what matters. So, and it looks like Kem has a very, very small lead, but Seven keeping it close. Seven has been very, very frustrated by this matchup recently. I don't know if you mentioned that, but in the Discord, I said, Fox makes me want to quit this game. I, he has been sort of like, I think having a little bit, oh, and he just misses the, the drop there and accidentally turny winners. But yeah, he's been struggling with this matchup? He has, well, he, I wouldn't even say he struggles necessarily. I mean, he's lost to Maelstrom uh, a few times and he really wants to beat Maelstrom and hasn't been able to do that. But I wouldn't say that's exactly struggling in the matchup because Maelstrom's a beast. True. So far doing pretty solidly. He has been, I know he's been studying this. Matchup. Oh no, that's and that, actually a pineapple. Wow. And Seven is gonna take that to the bank. He has no pity for the Foxes. And you see Kem in the profile cam was like, oh, can't believe he did that. And those kind of mistakes, if you let them build up, can affect the player's mental. I like. Uh, no, no ops tech there. He was definitely going for an ops tech with that DI. Okay, last talk your game one. Big to get the counter pick advantage. Yeah. Just second head. To oh, but down. these up airs are just like, oh my god, so much percent. And he got wow. the jump there with the F smash. Wow, I, did not, I did not realize that he jumped there. That was a an extremely quick way to end that that game. That was the taking the, the life out of the, the, the lungs, the breath out so quickly. So we go back to Battlefield game two. Okay. And I think breath. this is, uh, okay, good. All right, looking solid on the tech chase so far. Okay, beautiful. You definitely always want to see that she can. Nice, okay. Because I know the thing that frustrates Seven the most is when he's missing his tech chase in this matchup, because that she needs to oh, win yeah. this matchup. Uh, it's pushed off stage. It's going to be, oh, tries to go for ledge with a mix-up, but because knowing if he goes on stage, he's probably just going to get up to match. Yeah, Cam has really been uh, wise to calling out, just instantly go to ledge. She's not doing the... that. Okay. Does make it back to plat. It was just a little too far away. This damage is building up, though. It's like, it's, once Fox gets a little bit ahead, you're like, you're gonna need a Gimp to be able to pull it back. But this is a okay. and, yep. Oh, oh no! Wow, Fox McCloud. I like, I was pass. thinking, because I thought he was gonna make it, but I trusted Seven. Uh, and Seven's judgment just a tiny bit off there. Just needed to drop a bear. It's tough to, to tell whether they can get back or not. When they're at that diagonal, yes. especially. Yeah, shout out to Nacho. Ooh. Let's just up to trading, not what's going on. Does he get out of the corner now? Yeah. This, this game is already running a bit away from him. He's Seven's looking to close out this stock real fast, and I would think maybe cheeky down smash would do that, but... Oh no, just gets double shot in the corner. Okay, he can, he, can he... Oh, and he closes it out with the poof into... That's a fox combo right there. I mean, not with the fair, but up B into kill. Sakurai, where are you at? Movement on the top platform. Can't find the grab though. He had it. 
Okay, this is getting running Whoa, away from him, that really. Combo, that was fair. a lot of percent. Okay. Kim getting a little custom. The, yeah. Just, it's insane. You miss one tech chase off Fox Shine, and he's just like, oh, yeah, I can just kill off this one. Yeah, he does. If it's not a kill, it's at least, like, a lot of percent. And Seven just having a lot of trouble getting these neutral wins right now. Oh. Okay, let's see if we can get started. And he misses the tech chase. He just, like... And I think that's sort of the thing that, like I was saying, has been frustrating him, is missing those tech chases just costs you so much against Fox. Yeah, and it's, you have to convert off every grab. You know, even if you're going for the reads, you have to get something. Seven going for a Hail Mary Dare. It does get, does, uh, you know, win him neutral, but it doesn't really matter. And Seven going down. Just 2-0 in the set. Dashes around that shield and rips up Smash Nose. You're going to be scared. I dash away. You're dropping that shield. What else are you doing? On a 2-0. Yeah, back to Battlefield. This is the classic sheet counterpick. I think in his mind, Seven's like, I'm not losing because of the stage. Like, he's not losing because he's fighting on Battlefield. I, you know, it, and if he's going to, he's going to have to win on some pretty rough stages. So, okay. So, Cleaner, text, uh, goes for a hard read there. Does not net him anything. Okay, SDS out of the drill to get the grab. That is like really good stuff. That is the the defensive tech that you, you want to see from the Sheik. Yeah, and that was actually Kem really good DI on that dash attack, so he couldn't get fair. Going off stage was the right play. Yeah, Kem trying to space bears. Nice empty hand, empty land. And gets the fair. Let's see if he can close this out. Oh! Yeah. Didn't yeah. have a jump, maybe? I guess. Only 44% on seven now, but... But, okay, the, you went for the needles, and that's not going to get him anything. The dash attack doesn't get him anything either, though. It's seven oh. with a good DI to get to the plat. Okay, throw him off stage. No, he's just going to go... Okay, he thought that he was going to try to go off stage, so he went for the poof. A bit of a read there. I think that Seven's reads on the tech chases have not really paid off. I know why he's doing it, because he's not super confident. Yes. But I, I think that he should sort of, like, just go with what he's, he's comfortable with. Yeah, and Kem not fooled by that recovery mix-up. Seven trying to just go way close to him and just like, okay, I'll just upset. Easy. Yeah, another missed tech chase. Just going for the grab. Nice tech on that up smash. Oh, wow, actually comes down with... Damn, but doesn't get anything off it. That could have been an offstage scenario. He's still keeping it close, though, and gets him off stage, and let's see, can he close out this? He does. All right, there we go. That's what you want to see. Closing out the edge guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice call on the... Oh, oh my god, and that's oh, dead. Wow. That's just unfortunate. Seven, not looking too frustrated, though. Keeping his cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta have this lead. Can't take too much percent. You gotta get Fox out into knockdown percent. But yeah, but all of these grab attempts have been scouted out. And it's Roland playing a lot in shield. Let's go for the off oh, nice! He does get there. I thought that he was going to be a little bit too, uh, a little bit too early on that, and that the ledge roll was going to was going to kill him. But Kem cleaning up anyway. And Seven looking at his uh, winner's bracket stock right now. And I mean, Kem is racking up percent so fast. I think this might be Dunzo, unless Seven can pull out a miracle real fast. And. Trying to go for trying Yeah, trying to get the. Uh, I think that okay, was the, there we go. Three yeah. zero, and Kem making up for his fifteen minute delay by making the set incredibly fast. Yes. Uh, cleaning up that quickly, and who do we have? Uh, who do we have next? We have the other winner semi. So that's gonna be Kevin Maples versus Mott Money. High profile Fox Ditto. Dude, okay, this is exciting. This, <laughs> this will this be is, exciting. This is hype. Yes. They played at No John's 3, so when Kevin Maples went up. Um, so Kem, Kevin Maples, and Mont Money all went to No John's. Okay. And Kevin Maples lost to both Kem and Mont Money. So. Okay, well, I mean, if you look at but the. But that was their first time playing. I mean, that's true. That's true. And Kevin is a guy who will study his sets, mm -hmm. try to learn what someone's sort of ticks are and figure out for the next time. So we'll see if like that experience fighting against him in the past has, you said he fought him at No Johns? Yes. So that was recent, right? Yes, that was recent. That was just earlier this month. Okay, well, I mean, he has the the recent uh, experience then, so let's see if he can use that to his advantage. Um, I do, 
I mean, if you look at the top 100, Kem and Mott are both ranked above yes. Kevin by a few, like, you know, I think Kevin's in the, see, 80 something. Yep. Uh, and these guys are very, Mott and Kem are very close together. I think at like 66 and 68, something like that, mm -hmm. 64 and 